This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. As the heat continues, some power outages could impact the ability for some San Diegans to stay cool throughout the county. SDG&E planning outages throughout this week. The outages may be inconvenient, but SDG&E says they are necessary. And the outages are for repairs and SDG&E telling us it's these small steps now that can help protect people in the long run. And they are trying to time them out in the early morning or late night hours when it is not too hot. But there are some planned today that could carry into the afternoon hours. Well, new information about the USS Bonham Richard fire. The fire burned for days and destroyed the ship last July. Well, new documents suggesting someone sabotaged firefighting efforts and tampered with the crime scene evidence in the first days of the investigation. A federal search warrant names a 19-year-old Navy SEAL dropout as the prime arson suspect. Seaman apprentice Ryan Mays has been charged with arson and with hazarding of a vessel. It is still very early in the case, though, but the Navy said last week that there was enough evidence to hold a preliminary hearing. And this morning, police looking for two men in connection to a hate crime and assault with a deadly weapon. 26-year-old woman was at a bonfire with her friends in the Mission Beach area Monday night. She says a group of young men approached and began yelling anti-LGBTQ slurs at them, according to San Diego County Crime Stoppers. And the first suspect threw a can of beer at the woman, hitting her in the eye. The other suspect pulled out a handgun, pointed it at the head of another person in the group. Crime Stoppers offering up to a $1,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest. Switching gears now to our weather picture today. We've been talking about the ongoing heat. How are we looking? Ooh, it's still going to be hot today. In yeah. fact, the mountain and desert areas, today is going to be the hottest day there. So a degree or two warmer for those areas. Inland and coastal areas may be a degree or two cooler than yesterday, and it's really comfortable along the coast. We're going to stay in the 70s here. Inland and mountain areas in the 90s, though, and our desert areas close to 120. The heat advisories for the inland and mountain areas has been extended through tomorrow night, and the heated warning in the deserts also extended through tomorrow. So temperatures trending about 3 to 10 degrees above average for two more days away from our coastline. It is a dry heat that, of course, elevates the fire danger, but cooler ocean water temperatures and an absent monsoon leading to drier conditions from the coast to the deserts this weekend. In fact, starting Friday, temperatures to really start to cool off by this weekend. Some areas close to 10 degrees cooler than it has been. Jim, look forward to that. Megan, thank you very much for the latest news, weather and traffic. Go to 10 news.com or download our free 10 news app in your app store for ABC 10 news. I'm Jim Patton.